Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's recording, just do it now. Oh yeah. I'm Oh, hello everyone, my name is Fentala and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you 5 reasons why you shouldn't compare yourself. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a like and comment in the comment section. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be giving you 5 reasons. I've already said that anyways. Yeah, so get yourself a pillow, get yourself drink, popcorn, and let's begin. First of all, if you haven't watched my last video, it's going to appear on your screen here. Make sure you go watch that video and let me know what you think. I attempted to down my natural hair and trust me, it didn't really go as planned. So just make sure you watch that video and give it a big thumbs up. So without much rant, number one, everyone is unique. Everyone has special features. Everyone has special body features that make them who they are. You have this kind of body parts, which I don't. She has, I don't have, everyone is just different. Your nose is different from mine, mine is different from hers. It makes us all different people. It makes us stand out. It's like our signature because it makes us the people that we are. Yours is different from mine because we are two different people. We are not the same kind of people. So when we realize that we know that with everyone and everything that all of us, each of us have, it makes us different kind of people. So why do we compare ourselves? Why do we see that? body feature as a flaw instead we should see it as something that actually makes us stand out and actually makes us unique because we are all different people and we are all unique point number two no one is perfect i'm sure we all hear this couple of times you've heard this phrase phrase so many times and you still compare yourself you still find yourself comparing yourself with some other person maybe your role model or this girl over there this boy over there he has a perfect life she has a perfect body but that is not it people can have perfect skills yeah people can have perfect photography skills people can have perfect drawing skills cooking skills but no one is perfect like their life their cells even the most beautiful girl in the world i can tell you for free that there are times she sits in her room and she feels this kind of her body can be that way or this thing in her life can be that way but they will never tell you just the way maybe if you're crying something happens to you then you want to go out will you go out with tears in your eyes and nobody you will go out with a smile on your face and nobody will ever know that you were crying which is going to get me into another topic for another day but as for today i just want to let you know that no rush so touch point number three the one you compare yourself to is your standard take a deep breath this is very hard to believe maybe you have short hair and you see this girl over there her hair is long you want your hair to be as long as her so you do everything and then your hair finally gets to that level you're happy everything is all good your hair wasn't doing well though because it's another person her hair was long fine you see another person whose hair is longer than that girl's hair again you go again you make your hair as long as that you go again you see another person the circle keeps going on because that leads me to another point someone will always be better than you at something it is the harsh reality of life but when you realize this you tend to know that no matter what you do someone will always have something better somebody will always be better at doing this so when you realize that you know that no matter what you do no matter what you try to do like you will keep finding people who are better than this who are better at that so why and then you find your life you find yourself your whole life wanting to have wanting to be you fail to realize that whatever you have is meant for you whatever you have whatever you want will come to you at the perfect time okay? point number four is conos inferiority complex you don't feel good about yourself you feel like everyone is better than you maybe the people you move around with they all use the latest phones and you're using an old phone i'm not good enough for them since they are all using big phones and i'm here using an android phone you feel bad about yourself because you can't reach a certain level and that is totally wrong even if you don't even feel like you can't fit in with them if you want to get new things if you want to have this or have that do it because you want to a man's life does not consist on the abundance of his possessions what you have or what you don't have doesn't determine how well your life will turn out to be or how good your grades are going to be in school or how many people want to be 
with you or stick around you or like you whoever doesn't want to be with you let the person go and the last but not the least point number five it is a form of ingratitude to your maker god saw that you were perfect the way you are he saw that everything was all beautiful all unique all perfect then you just realize one day and be like i don't even like this thing about me i wish this i wish that clay he's the potter so you are perfect just the way you are because you can't physically change who you are it's just in your mind if you want to be better like i said do it because you want to do it don't do it because everybody wants you to have this or have that and be happy be confident in your own skin you are who you are for a purpose when next you feel like your life isn't going as planned or isn't going like social media is portraying everyone's life to be go through these five steps again number one everyone is unique we all have special body features that make us the type of person that we are number two no one is perfect even though the internet these days portrays everybody having perfect people have issues that they don't talk about number three the one you compare yourself to is your standard when you feel like you must attain this certain level this person is they are the a game if you don't read that level your life isn't going well if you don't live get to that level you are not anything meaningful which is totally wrong point number four is connotes inferiority complex when you see that these people you don't mean up to their certain level of standard of living or something like that you feel bad about yourself and it is totally wrong be happy with what you have and everything will happen at the right time last but not the least it is a form of ingratitude to your maker i have explained that be happy with the kind of person that you are there is no mistake in you god made you perfect just the way you are i hope you have taken one or two points as i end this video i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to share share with your family share with your friends share with your enemies like i'll always tell you share with your people so that they will also partake in this blessing don't be stingy click that share button right now subscribe if you haven't subscribed let us welcome you to the family and give this video a very big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i leave you with this message from jen sincero and i quote there is no one exactly like you you are giving special gifts and talents to share with the world and even though everyone has a special talent nobody will use theirs quite the same way too i'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah, yeah. Give me love, oh Jeje. Je. I'll give you love, oh Jeje. Je, oh. Give me love, oh Jeje. Je, oh.